welcome back to my channel. If you're brand new here, welcome, welcome. Leave a comment below saying you are a first timer and I will definitely give you some thumbs up and props for being here. If you are a, um, a regular old friend, as I may say, welcome back. I'm so glad you're here because I've been noodling on this idea for a, a video for literally a year. And I finally got enough gumption to pick one week in July, that would be this week, the, the week that this planner was released, because I was really energized by this planner. I said, oh my goodness, there are so many possibilities within this planner, not just the large one, um, but the small one as well. And if you want to walk through a full walkthrough, I'm not going to do that right now. I'm going to go ahead and put a card up in the corner and link it below on the walkthrough of this planner, because it really is it really is a special thing, not only because of the way it's designed, but the way you can use an undated planner. And that's what this is. It is a 12 month undated planner. The differences between this one and this one is the layout. This one has a vertical layout, which means that it's in columns here. This one is a horizontal layout, which, you know, obviously has these sections here. I love horizontal planners after working in them for that week that I have chosen. I'll get to them in a second. You guys are so patient, but I got to talk. I got to talk, talk, talk. So, so if we talk about our undated planners and how we can use them as a dated planner, clearly, right? So my first spread here is what I wanted to do is duplicate what I do exactly in this planner and this. So I wanted to see what it would look like in a vertical versus a horizontal. So the content is exactly the same for the most part. Um, but the, the, like, so Monday, all of the things that were on Monday are right here. Um, I really wanted to test the water, see how to, to divide the space up. And I was really surprised, but wait, I, I love the extra tidbits that an undated planner can give you. So n idea number one, one use, obviously to use your undated planner is as a shocker planner. Yeah. Okay. So that really wasn't number one, but I just wanted to tell you that's how I started. Number two you can use your undated planner as a book notes page. I am one of those people that reads a little bit out of each book every now and again, unless it's like totally compelling. I have to keep interested in it. So what I have it divided here in this column. So I have the book title, obviously this is, this is Where Hope Blooms. And then on this other column, I have several different things. It depends on the type of book. So this is a fiction book. But you can, I can extract a lot of the information from a fiction book and apply it to my life. So um, I was writing about one of the characters and I was doing a little bit of self-reflection on how is this character like me um, and how um, am I the same? Am I different? If she's feeling this way, would I feel this way? How would I act in this situation? So that's that's one way of, of looking at your book notes and kind of like making it a journal kind of a thing. Now this book next on Tuesday the 16th was 5 a.m. club. It's about getting up early and being more productive in that time of space. And this is more of a more of like a self-help book. So there were a lot of quotes in it. So as I was reading those 22 pages, and I do have that down here, page read 22, just to keep myself motivated for, oh, look, I read 22 pages. How exciting. So this is um, more of a quote. So there's different ways in which you can approach different types of book in your book notes. And here's another one. And I put this um, check mark barks there because I was always reading Sleep and Your Kids. It was like, okay, cut the caffeine out, no TVs in bedrooms. It was just a really great reminder, a checklist of things that you can do. And then you can use this notes section down here of this horizontal as um, extra books that you could read um, that were suggested or on the, the flap it has, you know, different authors. So there's lots of different ways that you can use the space. On the next section is memories. Of course, we all have memories, but these are not present memories. These are past memories, like way down the road. So what I wanted to do is take a topic for each day. So I have heritage, tradition, music, food, planner, friends, art, and time, and family. And I just divided that. And I thought about memories of my heritage, stories that I had um, been told, traditions in which are, are a part of any family. And so I was just kind of, you know, putting the cogs back a few years and, um, and remember all those awesome things about music 
um, about food and how much I miss donuts and what my favorite snack is at the pool. I remember having nerds as a kid at the pool, like being sopping wet during the, the lifeguard break. So things like that. It's really great to bring back those memories so I can reflect on these things um, as. So that's um, idea number three. And you can fill up an entire dated planner with just memories. Let's turn the page to the next one. This one um, I would call my errand list. So every day on that week, and yes, it is the same week. <laughs> so I did all of these spreads in that one week, by the way. So I've got this July 15th all the way to July 21st. And I talked about my places that I needed to go. So I did highlight those. So I've got Old Navy, Walmart, Sam's Club, blah, blah. And then things I needed to pick up. You could always add a shopping list here on the bottom. You know, put some fun stickers in there. Because not only is that a fantastic space filler, if you get done and you're like, whoa, this is a lot of space. We all have extra stickers. Use them up. Enjoy them. And I'm enjoying them in here. So let's turn the page to this one. This is um, what I would call my communication log. For that week, I kept this by my computer or by, you know, which is basically my home base besides my office desk where I plan, which is where we're at right now. I kept notes of the phone calls coming in or leaving or coming out. Uh, meetings that I had, basically what I call communication, which is why this is. So um, I also talked about what next week, the things I need to get done that, you know, you know, you phone, make the phone call, you leave a message, they don't come back for next week, things to check up on. I've got there because I remember my mom when I was a kid, she would have a sticky note by the phone, you know, the wall phone, and she would write down exactly who she talked to on that certain day. I thought that was like really silly at the time, but now that I'm almost nearing her age at the time that I remember that, now I get it because I can't remember anything. This is a great place to meal plan. Why not, right? I am feeding six people pretty much every day, three meals a day, so I have it laid out from breakfast, lunch, and dinner on each day. Um, lots of space, lots of space for you to either add, you know, all the other parts of meals. So I could say enchiladas, but I also would like to say with salsa, with olives and sour cream and extra cheese, just in case I can't remember all of the parts to it. It's like Thanksgiving dinner. You get sat down and then all of a sudden somebody says, where's the gravy? Well, yeah, you get a little overwhelmed sometimes. So uh, if you write it down, hopefully you'll remember. And then down here in the extra notes part, I do have a um, grocery shopping list because we always run things out of things during the week. Here we are on idea number, well, I've lost count already, but I know I have 15 total, but this would be an exercise look. So for every day, the 15th through the 21st, I did some exercises and um, I love these Paper House Productions sticky, the stickers. It really made organizing this super easy because if you look, I don't really have a whole lot of writing. I could just stick how many steps I had, the 10,000 steps, sticker done. Water, sticker done. That's what made it easy is the pre-planning. And then down here, I did a, you know, a, a tracker sticker that recorded my cheat meals. So that's a great idea for trackers for exercising. Let's turn the page and look at the next idea for an undated planner. This week, I also <laughs> traveled. Yeah, it was a very busy week in our household. Um, we actually went to two college visits with hotel stays in between. So I needed a packing list, which I've got up here. Hotel reservations, um, things that I needed to do, don't forget things. And then, because I had gotten to my destination, I used it kind of like a travel journal. Wrote how I was feeling, how Jack did, how the day went, and um, and that sort of thing during the, the parts of the travel. Then down here, there are always to-do lists. I always have something to do when I get home, and I just wanted to jot that information down here so I wouldn't forget when I got home. So I thought that was a pretty fun spread. This one, this one, you wouldn't know by it, but it is my budget one. Um, it, I tracked my spending from the 15th through the 21st, and then I added some unicorn stickers because, you know, my no spends never exist, neither does a unicorn. If, if you see here, I've got um, what bills that I had due, I had income from returns, I had spending, um, and then I had a little bit of journaling down here when I had a double order 
from Erin Condren, which is fine. We all have our little vices. That was mine that week. Um, and then, of course, I kept going with the spend and income throughout the week. And now you're probably wondering, what is this big thing in the corner? It's actually a pocket. They have st Paper House Productions have these stick-on pockets, and I put my receipts in there. Um, and so when I took this with me and I just slapped it in my purse, I put my receipts right there. It was super easy to travel with. All right, no judgment. I am trying to practice. So every day during this week on the 15th through the 21st, I took a day and I just tried my hand at brush lettering. That is a wonderful idea to a do and an undated planner because you know that your space is limited here in this mini planner. I don't feel like I need to fill up that space. And as opposed to a vertical, you have a lot of more space horizontally to practice. So I think that's a great use. Now here is this spread. This is a mock-up of one of my weeks that I did when I was teaching during the school year this last spring. But I think using an undated planner as a teacher planner is, is brilliant. This is the monthly spread. Um, and I will show you an undone one. So this is the monthly spread that comes with this undated mommy lay. Boom, look at that. You divided each column into sections of the class. So reading, math, science, English, social studies, religion, and then specials. And then there were five columns, duh, five days a week, Monday through Friday. I can say, okay, for reading on Monday, we're gonna do Apollo 13 and then boom. <laughs> I think it's brilliant, I love it. And then I did my things that were due in a highlighted form. And then I just use stickers and a ruler to, you know, continuation of things that we're doing multi-day. Isn't that fun? Now, continuing on the teacher spread is this. So I use the, the monthly as the as what was going on that whole week. But then I use this weekly spread to do the daily tasks. So make sure I go to the mailbox, um, who was absent, and um, things that she needs to correct isn't that amazing? I love this as a teacher planner. And I, when I go back to school, this might be my teacher planner moving forward. Let's turn the page for the next idea. It is gratitude. This gratitude journal is um, just really simple. Couple sentences a day. I, it's not too overwhelming. I love the smallness of this little mini planner. It is such a power horse. And I think you really enjoy it too. Um, it doesn't have to be momentous to journal. Just one sentence of gratitude. The cool breeze of an approaching storm. Let's turn the page and you'll, here we go. We, I fell off the wagon a little bit. I was like, you know what? Let's do washi samples. These are all my Paper House Production washi samples. Next page. I did leave this one blank for future. But isn't that cute? So I have all my themed um, washi over here, my Harry Potter and my Wonder Woman washi, and I've got my Mommy Lay washi and a whole lot of others as well. So that's a great use for an undated planner. And you can do this way in the back. It doesn't have to be right next to what you're doing, but you can always do it in the style that I'm doing it too, not to wasting pages. Or you, maybe you could use these as divided into sections. Maybe have this section be your call log for the month or maybe this section be your teacher planner for the month, that sort of thing. Lots of different ways to use this. All right, we're gonna turn the page to here. This is what I would call my quote page. Um, I like Harry Potter along with a lot of you, and there are some very poignant Dumbledore quotes. And so I just went through, found some of the Dumbledore quotes that I really were inspired by or thought that was very appropriate for my life. And I just made this little spread here with um, several of the quotes using the Harry Potter stickers. This one is game day. This is what I would call game day. We have a lot of sports in our house and the kids routinely either have practice or games. And just journaling about what happened during the game is a great way for memories to keep on living. So talk about how well he did, what his batting average was. I did use these baseball stickers because, of course, this is July, like I was talking about. Heat of the summer, love me some baseball. And then when you even have rest days, like here, I just stuck a big sticker on there to fill up a little bit more space. Let's turn the page to the last idea I have for an undated planner. This is what I would call my book list. And I have divided them into sections, nonfiction, history, fiction, and then, you know, I can even do categories. So like, these are all the Elizabeth Gilbert books that I'd like. 
to read. So there's many different ways to categorize your book list that you can use in your undated planner. And you wouldn't even know that this is an undated planner, literally, because it looks like a notebook. Because once you covered up strategically some of those dates, you would never know. Now I do have more ideas that I have not gotten to yet um, for an undated planner. Obviously I have the memories that would be, um, you know, printing out pictures, putting them on, um, that sort of thing. The um, goal breakdown. If you had one large goal and you wanted to task it for every single day, you could make a running list of all of those goals breakdowns. Um, no, keeping it by my computer for notes that I could just jot down using it as a notebook. Like, so on Monday, the things I need to do for work on my computer on Monday. And then the last um, idea I have is I am having a senior graduate this year. And I think it would be very wise to keep all that information into one place. And so I'm going to be using this undated planner as more of a party planner, um, tasks I need to get done before the party starts. Well, I really hope you have enjoyed my 15 uses for an undated planner here on my YouTube channel. If you really like the content, go ahead and like and subscribe. I would love to have you permanently here as part of the community that I'm trying to build and I hope you will enjoy as well. And if you have any questions about this planner or the stickers I used, all of which were all Paper House production stickers, please leave a comment below. I will leave links for as much as I have. And I truly, truly appreciate you being here with me today. Thanks so much for your time. I will see you next time. Bye, guys.